just oh, it's my it's on. my physical shake it out so yeah i'm kind of out of retirement uh nobody really cares but um yeah full disclosure i've been on the carnivore diet for about two months and i'm down over 20 pounds my lean muscle mass has increased like 13 percent my blood sugar's down to a normal range I'm energized. I feel great, but I know the diet catches a lot of flack because people are still hung up on that fake bought and paid for science that says eat seed oil, margarine, and oats and not red meat. But the people I really wanted to check in with were the vegans and I'm I'm only shocked by how dumb they've gotten. So this is something that I found when I was looking for carnivore criticism and I watched the uh, first like two minutes of it and I said no I just had to do a video on it so without further ado oh and fair use I'm not gonna break their balls Let's, we're just gonna see how dumb they are all right everybody um, we're back for another reaction video we are a vegan couple my name is Brandon I am the owner of this channel logical consistency I love how leftists had this habit of giving themselves these names that, you know, the moniker is intelligent, right? So, so, so you go into it, you know, it's, it's for their echo chamber, obviously. It's not for outside consumption to take seriously, but you go into it like... <laughs> It's a logical consistency. I bet you he's very consistent logically. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And I'm Julia, and I'm vegan. And I'm Brandon's fiance. And uh, we're going to react to a video, another video today. It's uh, 555 days of meat only. Was it worth it? Dot, dot, dot. Shocking carnivore diet results. <laughs> this is by Kent Carnivore. So we're going to see what his uh, totally scientific... The smugness in that, you know, totally scientific. You know, you want to talk about totally scientific. We'll take a look at the industry that props up sugar. And it's it's not a secret anymore. It is open, common knowledge that the, that the scientists that these people worship at the feet of literally made up studies for profit. They're always so smug with that. It's like, this is like the, you know, you got the Marvel Universe, I guess is what the fucking thing's called. Um, the, all the comic book stuff that they do. And this is like the Vosh Universe. <laughs> all these smug elitists that don't know shit. They don't know anything about anything. Look how emaciated. The, the, the girl's kind of cute. Eh, you know, not gonna lie about that. She could use some meat. The uh, homie is fucking emaciated. He's got to wear a sweater and a beanie inside. <laughs> That's not a stylistic choice. That's so you can't tell that he looks like the fucking walking dead. Um, results are after going on the carnivore <laughs> diet. Cool. Are you ready? I'm ready. 55 days. No vegetables, fruits, no grains, nuts, seeds, legumes, salads, sauces. Just fatty cuts of red meat, some eggs, occasionally some seafood, and a little bit of raw dairy here and there. So, was it worth it? Honestly, it's the best decision I've ever made in my life. His I'm not depressed anymore. Great. I don't have to. Um, I like how, I don't know when this raw dairy thing started getting mixed in, but I really am unhappy about it just from like a human safety. Forget about... What gets me is that these people have no idea what they're talking about, yet speak with this supreme confidence. And this is about where I finished watching it. Once he said the raw milk thing, I checked out and said, yeah, let me do a commentary video on this. So everything else from here on out is going to be brand new. But let me tell you, like two people have died from consuming raw milk in the past 25, 26 years. You know, these vegans, they're hell on cycling. You know, they, they, they love being cyclists. Well, they die like 1,200 of them annually. So that's exponentially more unsafe than drinking raw milk. I mean, raw milk is literally fucking safe. Yeah, I feel like I wonder if people just like the like rush of this. You know what I mean? They're like, no, 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 I don't want dairy. I want raw dairy. 
Well, the thing about it is the placebo effect is still... Like, I think people forget that placebo effect is a thing. <laughs> the irony here is that he has no idea what the placebo effect is. That's not the... That's not the placebo effect. That is not the placebo effect. But it's a slogan. And these people can only communicate in three ways. I'm telling you. The 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 left wing people, the the neo Marxists, these weird people, they can only communicate in three ways. Slogans that are popular among their little cult, smears, because they have to insult you because they're morally superior and better than you, and spam. Just a bunch of word salad filler. That's the only three ways they can communicate. So, placebo, I imagine, is going to be his slogan. Probably a theme throughout all of his carnivore criticism videos. He doesn't know what the placebo effect is. That's not the placebo effect. It's like, I don't know, just being like, carnivore! You know? Like, his name is Kent Carnivore. What's your name on YouTube? Logical Consistency. Right. <laughs> That's a gotcha if I've ever heard one. But <laughs> got him. Yeah. What the fuck is that? It's a bull baby. Oh, baby, that's such a good name. Logical consistency. You don't know what the placebo effect is, and you don't know anything about raw milk, but you're consistent logically. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with these people? But the also, every what's interesting is like almost every vegan channel talks about the morality behind the decisions, thinking about like trying to think outside of ourselves and right. focus on the victim in animal agriculture. Right. Every single carnivore video was about diet. It's about how much weight did I lose? How do yeah. I feel, right? And um, it's not always about you. Like it's not just about you, right? I could go on a diet of eating nothing but baby fetuses. Right, I could go on a diet of eating nothing but baby fetuses. Yeah, yeah. Tell me I'm being mean or unfair by calling these fucking people weird. Uh, seriously, baby fetuses. Baby feed it. And the food chain, the ecosystem, is how it is. Yes, we evolved as carnivorous. And we developed omnivorous traits a little later with the agricultural boom. But that still promotes inflammation and ill digestion. The carnivore doesn't do that. And these people have ethical concerns and this and that. And that's fine, of course. But they act as if their stance on what a diet should be is so morally superior. As their food just raises fertile lands to the ground to where you have to have forever chemicals planted on them. And they displace so many different species of animal and wildlife all all around it to grow their food and the scam of the organics that are shipped in from China and they think that they're not eating pesticides this is all natural no of course they are because their little hippie gardens don't work we saw the fucking community garden and chess we know y'all we know y'all aren't farmers right we know that y'all rely on the infrastructure of the rat utopia to get your produce and your produce is made with exponentially crueler means than is animal husbandry and the, even the factory farming and that's even including the bad actors in there who should be strung up by their ankles and beaten like a pinata for abusing the animals instead of giving them a humane death but you're not morally superior your diet is wreaking havoc on the planet. Yeah, I would call the carnivore diet the me, me, me diet. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's it. That's as far as it goes. That is the height of their intellectual prowess. Right? Right? That's, that, that's it. Me, me, me. Me, me, me. A, a slogan, mind you. A slogan. Unoriginal. Something probably attributed to her multiple times for being a selfish little weirdo the me 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 the me 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 diet jesus i have chronic acid reflux that's gone deceased all my skin conditions have improved <laughs> less wax in my ears less plaque on my teeth 
my energy is way up, my sleep's improved, I get up easy in the mornings, and I've gained control of both my health and my moods for the first time in my adult life. So before I set out on this whole journey, usually... This is hard not to share, and I'm going to try and do it without sounding preachy. My depression is, is gone, okay? I don't feel like I have the same kind of mental fog or mental health problems. I just have better mental clarity. That un I, this is what I'm talking about, like the rush. Like, I swear people get on this rush of, like, such an extreme diet that I almost feel like they have something to focus, to hyper-focus on. You are clearly not the smart one <laughs> in this couple, and that's saying a lot. You're trying to say the rush, the rush that he's on is responsible for less plaque buildup, which is a physical, physiological response, for, for better sleep. The rush, the rush, the adrenaline is better for sleep. Make it make sense. His acid reflux went away, and his skin cleared up. And his depression, he reports, is gone. That's from a rush. All of that's from a rush. Oh, man. Let the guy talk. I feel like he went into this thinking that that was going to happen. And so, yeah, like a placebo effect. Yeah. No, the, this... The they really think this is the placebo effect. The placebo effect, say you got a you got a control and you're doing, you know, a thousand people on each study and you give uh, one group of the thousand people... A, a sugar pill or or a, a, a water pill something you know that that's harmless for them uh and they report experiencing positive effects that are not attributable to the placebo that's the whole point is that you have a placebo effect if the benefits you're experiencing are not attributable to the placebo Obviously, if you're experiencing positive benefits from your diet, they can be attributed to your diet. Beef, as hem, hem iron, and tons of B vitamins and essential amino acids. All meat does. S healthy, unsaturated fat, saturated fat. All throughout, all throughout meat products. You can 100% attribute healthy outcomes to your diet, especially when it's that fucking nutrient dense. The diet is almost as dense in nutrients as your fucking heads are dense. The thing is, right, first off, I don't know if he's clinically diagnosed with depression, right? There's a difference between, oh, like, like kind of casually saying you're depressed, oh, I'm struggling with symptoms of depression or I'm feeling down and being clinically diagnosed, right? right. It's an odd but popular stance they take. What they're saying here is that he's lying. It, it's just it's just a fanciful way for them to say he's lying without outright accusing him of lying. This is something they do in, in a lot. I mean, I'm, I don't mean only vegans. I mean, these leftist weirdos in general. It's like they need to see your entire life's documentation, a study, uh, shit that's just signed and fucking notarized by Taco Corp so that th they can, they appeal to authority so often that if something isn't signed and stamped by one of their approved authorities, they don't feel like they have permission to believe it. That's why Valsh and them sit around and, and yell and whinge about study this and study that. And, oh, that's not peer-reviewed. Oh, well, that hasn't been peer-reviewed twice. Oh, well, that might be peer-reviewed, but that's not in the academic canon. Because they're looking for permission to even accept the premise. Not even to believe it, but even to accept the premise. They need to seek permission because their entire lives have appealed to authority so much. Which might seem ironic because all of them uh, mostly, I would say most of them, identify as, as, as some type of atheist or not a believer in mono, monotheistic religions or even the, the old school polytheism. Yet their entire lives are just begging for authority to guide them. This guy won't believe someone who says that he was clinically depressed. No, 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 no. You were probably just like feeling blue, bro. Go listen to some music or something. I, you know, I heard Nirvana helps with that. If, if he's clinically diagnosed and he's saying he got rid of his depression in three weeks just by eating nothing but meat, um, that's 
going to be placebo. That is literally not the placebo effect. I don't know what it is with these people who outrun their coverage. They swear. I, it, it has to be the feeling of moral superiority. We're morally superior to you. Therefore, what we think about shit that we don't know about has to be right because we're the moral ones. You're fucking morons. You don't even know what the placebo effect is. My word, man. Like, it, it, there's just no studies on that. There's no research showing that if you take out all of the vegetables and plants, plant foods that have been shown to actually um, lead to better health outcomes, that all of a sudden you're not going to be depressed. That doesn't make any sense. But it's also a very dangerous thing to do, to just to um, consume a diet of nothing but murdered and abused animal flesh. Forgive me if this goes off into a little bit of a political tangent here. But another thing that I always observe with these type of people is how white-centric and Western-centric they are and their belief systems. Now, you know, you think these are the people who would tell you that, it, it, that if you're a white person who fears losing their culture or you're worried about increased crime from immigration or anything like that, uh, perfectly logical concerns their logical consistency. They would say you're a racist and that you benefited from a white supremacist system, etc. Because they all believe that to a man or to a they, them, or to a zur or to a whatever. They all believe that. Yet, it seems to be projection because their entire view of life is so, is so classist. You know, there are, there are still Inuit people who eat a diet of nothing but meat. There's still Aboriginal peoples. There are still people in South America. All these people that, and we can observe, and we have observed. We observed in the 1800s that Inuit people who ate seafood and whale blubber had a hell of a life expectancy. They didn't have heart disease. They didn't have cancers. We have observed these things before. But he, he, his view and his old lady's view there it's very western white centric it's very this is my life and the entire planet evolve revolves around my life and my personal understanding of how life works like i said i'm not trying to get off into a political tangent here but it's something that you can observe with them is that their view of the world it's basically their little view of themselves and their little tiny bubble. Their little moment at this point in time in the world is all they can envision. It's all they can all all they can see. They can't see the apple in their head. They can't think consequentially. They can't think of time in a linear fashion. Everything is jumbled up for the here and the now. The the narcissistic. Ironic that the girls said me, 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 because that's exactly how they act. Me, my diet, my morals. Why aren't more people like that? Nobody has ever lived off of all meat. The hell are you talking about? Nobody's ever lived off all meat. There's still cultures today that do. That haven't been infested with with American GMO crops and corn syrup and all manner of sugars. And refined wheats and oats that are killing people. These cultures never had heart disease. These cultures, they uh, diabetes was unheard of. Even uh, as much as like a hundred years ago. Diabetes was something so incredibly rare, no one understood it. Your body has four separate hormones to make glucose. It's called gluconeogenesis. Your body can make glucose out of practically any substance you eat. Adding excess glucose to that is fucking necessarily dangerous and it's proven by our physiology that we only have one hormone, insulin, to get rid of the blood sugar. Having elevated blood sugar levels is fucking dangerous. One thing that attributes to that more than anything is the diet out here and all the wheats and the oats and the grains that literally turn to sugar as soon as they hit the digestive system. 
you're thinking only of yourself speaking of me 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 you're not viewing the world you're not viewing humans as a species you don't like it's that kind of like curable. fanatical language or like that uh, exaggerated language like I, I can go on a diet of eating nothing but baby fetuses all the rest of this is literally just the same thing that they drag on for another 20 minutes of basically calling the dude a liar, her chiming in every now and again with a slogan, and this dude screaming placebo, placebo. Oh, Lord. Yeah, maybe if this was a live stream, but it's literally, you know, it's put me to sleep. They're so boring. They offer absolutely nothing it's just the same tripe over and over and over oh they're vegans you know nobody's bothering their asses we just want them to stay away from us because they look fucking sickly <laughs>